Welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God is here, inviting you to spend time enjoying His presence. Close your eyes and allow your head to sink into your pillow. Take a moment to wonder at the mystery of it, resting in the presence of God. Psalm 4, 8 says, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone make me dwell in safety. This verse is the heartbeat of our daily bread evening meditations. We believe every one of God's children should be able to lie down and sleep in peace each night no matter what trials or worries the day has held, simply because we are His. He is with us. He loves us. And He guards us with His presence. We love joining you every night, helping you draw near to the Lord through His Word, reflect on His heart, and find rest in His presence even in the midst of sorrow and hardship. Please do take a moment to like, review and continue to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and loved ones. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. So many things about God are beyond our understanding, and yet He has revealed many wonderful truths to us. He invites you now to delve into His mysteries. Father God, Your ways are above my ways. I come this evening looking forward to new revelations of your character and plans. Open my eyes to your will and mind. Give me a heart that seeks after your truth. Allow me a glimpse of your glory. In 1 Corinthians 2, 7-10, we read, We declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him, these are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. Sometimes important truths become so familiar that they lose their impact. So let's reclaim the wonder of one of them tonight. Picture God handing you a beautiful treasure box. It contains just one small sentence with far-reaching implications. There are so many revelations we could consider, but let's just focus on this one. God continues to live on earth through his church, his people. Think of what that means for your life. What an awesome privilege and responsibility. You are God's representative in your home, workplace, neighborhood, and church. God's spirit in you 
reveals God's character to those who don't yet know him. God speaks to us in Jeremiah 33, 3, saying, Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. God loves to share his heart and thoughts with his children. He asks us to set aside the world's fading, crumbling distractions, and to open his priceless, life-changing treasures revealed in his word. As we turn to prayer, allow every part of your body to relax, starting at your feet and working your way up. God's spirit dwelling in you is here to speak to your inmost being. Breathe deeply, following this pattern of long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for revealing your mysteries to me. Because of Jesus, I have access to your word, your spirit, your presence, and your will. Because of Jesus, I see your heart. Loving, good, forgiving, and patient. How wonderful to see you, God, with hands that help and lips that encourage. And now, Lord, you live in me. Another mind-blowing truth, prompting me to live as Jesus did showing selfless love and inexhaustible hope. As I meditate on this one deep truth, I am privileged to have a glimpse into your plans to reach a lost world through your church. Paul wrote these words in Colossians 2, 2 2-3 and 6-7. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time to rest and reflect on your priceless truths. As I settle down to sleep, may I rest in the assurance that your plans were set before time began. Even now, 
It's only little by little that I am beginning to grasp your immeasurable wisdom and the riches of your love and provision. As the psalmist says, such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Amen.